History Month, and in the past century, the number of black farmers all across the country has decreased significantly. However, a new multi-million dollar grant from the USDA is helping fund farmers in Prince George's County, particularly those of color. 7 News' Christian Flores takes a closer look at ways that it could impact our community. We've got some sweet potatoes, some watermelon radishes. Gail Livingstone has found success in her career field. She's the owner and operator of Deep Roots Farm in Upper Marlboro. It's a labor of love that begins before the sun rises. Counting eggs that we have collected this morning. And requires backbreaking work. So we do everything by hand here. Everything that we do, the planting, the harvesting. All of this leading to her greatest satisfaction with the job. One of the reasons that I farm is so that I can feed the community. Prince George's County is trying to plant the seeds of change. They just won a $3.25 million grant from the USDA to help fund black and minority farmers. What we need to be con concerned about with, with, this, with the funding is to make sure that smaller farms, minority farmers, are truly getting the financial support that they need. We want to continue to support those farmers, um, but we also, like you said, we want to be able to attract new farmers and new um, farmers from historically underserved populations, you know, get into the field. Since 1910, black farmers lost 90% of their land or 326 billion dollars worth across the country due to discriminatory lending practices and forced sale of land. The number of black farmers dropped dramatically between the years 1900 and 1997. The number of farms that were lost um, to families of color is astronomical. With this grant, Prince George's County is pushing for black and minority farmers to be part of this entire process, which means it doesn't just end at the farm. So we have the farmers and the other vendors set up over here. Ashley Drakeford is the market organizer and coordinator for the Capital Market, a blooming farmer's market in Capitol Heights in Suitland that runs from June to October. A lot of the reason why they're growing food is to serve their community, to serve people that look like them, to serve communities that may not have access. And so being able to bring that back into Prince George's County, you know, this grant is helping these farmers to really connect with the with the community. Drake Ford says the grant helping farmers will also help boost food availability in areas that have been food deserts. One of the reasons why we started the capital market was specifically for that reason, right? It was because neighbors had an issue really having access to fresh, healthy fruits and vegetables. This grant is also designed to promote sustainable farming that helps combat climate change and increases environmentally friendly farming to ensure the harvest is always strong. So this is an opportunity for farmers in our county to be on the leading edge of some of those practices, um, pilot them, test them out, and you know provide meaningful feedback. In Prince George's County, Christian Flores, 7 News. Now you can learn more about this in Christian's story on our website, WJLA.com. And while you're there, you can watch our other Black History Month stories. And do make sure to tune in on Saturday morning for our one hour Black History Month special. That's Saturday, 9 a.m. on WJLA 24-7 News. All right, 7 News. Tracking.